into. Let's bring everybody in, and I'm going to start with Marcus Spears, because Swagoo, you had some pretty strong feelings on this earlier, yeah. and I had to cut it a little short because we had uh, some time constraints. I'm clearing the deck for you here. What is your take on the Rodgers of it all and the possibility of sitting him down? Oh, it ain't no sitting down. It ain't no damn sitting down. It's about <laughs> what you are going to do for this football team. I don't care about mathematically being out. I don't care about where you are uh, as far as the season. Aaron Rodgers got a $350 million contract. He's going to have to continue to usher and groom and become a part of this unit that he has with these young wide receivers when they're available. He's going to have to overcome some adversity because it's not been a lot since he's been in Green Bay with Matt LaFleur. He's going to have to lead. That's what Aaron Rodgers is going to have to do. Not lead on the McAfee show when he's talking about guys need to step up or we need to cut reps. Not lead in the offseason when he's talking about we need to make these moves or these adjustments or go get around the cop. He's going to have to lead a team that is much maligned right now, a defense that hasn't come through, and, and people share responsibility, no doubt. But when you're the quarterback, and you've had the success Aaron Rodgers has had, when you are recently the two-time MVP of the league, you're supposed to overcome some things that are happening with the Green Bay Packers right now. So I want all of his opportunity for these 17 weeks in the NFL for either, if, if they aren't in contention, it's about planning and plotting and building the foundation going into next year because he's going to be there unless he retire. Now, we never know what the hell he's going to do in the offseason, but for this <laughs> season in particular, if they don't, if they mathematically are, are eliminated, he still needs to be the starting quarterback so he can build relationships with these young receivers and get going and start building a foundation going into next season. Hell now. no, don't sit him down. My mama used to tell me when I got in trouble, your butt wasn't worried about getting a butt whooping when you was doing it, so go <laughs> ahead and take this butt whooping now and learn from it and get better. That's what's happening. Now, that's really well said. But at, at some point, it is not, it's not just his butt that they have to worry about right. in Green Bay right now, right? They, they got to figure something out behind him. And Brian Gutekunst and Matt LaFleur should be worrying about their butts, and the way you solve it is... You need to know what you have in Jordan Love. If they move on from Jordan Love and he plays uh, well someplace else, that is catastrophic for them. So they have to play Jordan Love and know exactly what they have. Ironically, Greeny, a decade ago, when we traded for Brett Favre at the Jets, Green Bay knew exactly what they had in Aaron Rodgers. They don't know what they have in Jordan Love. And Swagoo, I love you, but he has to sit down. You got to play the young guy. It, I, I, was, I was with you earlier, but Swagoo's impassioned speech brought me over in this political season to his side of the debate. <laughs> I'm very sure. I, I, I very much agree with him on the part, not only that the math that matters is not whether they're mathematically eliminated, it's all the math that's going into his account. That matters, one. The other Hello. thing that really matters is next season. They need to get ready for next season. And this becomes, once they're mathematically eliminated, this becomes the preseason for next year. They can start finding answers now. And none of those answers involve Jordan Love, not when you sign but Aaron Rodgers to well, a second. $150 million contract. If he could commit to Devontae Adams in March, how would how it they... It doesn't matter. You already not... committed to him. You committed to him. You made the choice. You can't now be like, oh, if you were that worried about him, you shouldn't have signed him. Marcus, how convinced are you he's coming back next year? I don't know, G, but I'm listening to Mike Tannenbaum, who told us all year, don't worry about it, Aaron Rodgers is going to be back. Didn't, ain't that the same Mike yes, Tannenbaum been on the, the show with one. us for the past two years? Telling us about, no, it's fine. Aaron Rodgers will be back. It's going to take care. Now he want to find out about Joy Love. Well, you know when they should have found out, Mike T, when Aaron Rodgers said he wasn't coming to play no more. That's when they should have found out and sent Aaron Rodgers somewhere else. When I said the Green Bay Packers should think about trading Aaron Rodgers, everybody looked at me and said, what the hell are you talking about? This is a two-time MVP. He should not be in the thoughts of being traded. Now everybody want to see what they got in Jordan Love. Jordan <laughs> Love now is the guy because of they struggling on offense. Don't put that young man in this situation because here's the question. If Aaron Rodgers can't thrive in it, what the hell are you going to find out about Jordan love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is extraordinarily well done. There's nothing better to do than leave it there. Let's see what they wind up doing. They're so, well, by the way, they play. They're so Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.